Shokigem here. So in this video we'll be taking a look at the game gear accessories. So this is part one. Part two will have some more accessories down the line. So in part one we'll be showing you two types of battery packs, uh, the TV tuner as well as the big window two, or for the Sega game gear. Okay, so let's start off uh, with the first one here, which is the TV tuner. This is the front of the box, shows the tuner plugged into the game gear. Side. And the back shows a bit of images showing TV, shows how it plugs into the cartridge slot of your game gear. Let's go ahead and unbox this up. So you get a little a kind of instruction manual with it, really kind of basic run through, how you plug it in, sort of what all the different functions are. Okay, so this is the TV tuner. So you can see here is your different channels. Um, you've got a little wheel here on the side, which is actually your tuning. Now. Mine used to move, but it doesn't seem to move anymore when you do that. It used to do it. Um, on the back here, you've got an antenna, which you can extend or shorten, and it moves back and forth. On the top here, you've got um, basically a switch that changed from UHF to VHF. You've got AV in here, external antenna here. And as you can see, this end here plugs into your cartridge slot. So on your game gear, basically plug it in as your normally uh, normal cartridge, like so. It slots in. You would actually normally put your antenna out and then turn on your game gear and then tune to a appropriate station. Now, basically at the moment, there's no really use for me turning this on and showing you guys because all I get is static. So. No matter what I do, that's what I get. And well, analog is on the way out, so it kind of explains it. But anyway, when it was around in its time, it was quite a good portable way to have portable TV on your Game Gear. So you can imagine when you had this on a trip, you'd plug that in, go on a trip, and you could watch TV while having your Game Gear. So it was a quite cool idea. And in, I guess in its time, it worked quite well. I've seen some images and stuff that are working. Um, but yeah. Overall, it's a really cool idea. Alright, so and pull it out again, you just have this little clip here. You just pull that out, and that's that one. So, we'll put this to one side and have a look at the next accessory, which will be the battery packs. Okay, so the first one we'll have a look at is this one up here. So, this is a battery pack, it's an extendable battery. In case you know your normal batteries wouldn't last long, you get an extended battery that way you didn't have to charge your game gear as much. And yeah, you're on a long trip, you could have that extra battery just in case you ran out of power. So the box is pretty plain, it just shows um, the battery extender all over the place. Okay, so this is it. As you can see, that's elongated. You've got a plug here where you actually plug your AC adapter in to charge it. Here you've got your on and off power switches. It says Game Gear Battery Pack Sega. That plugs into your port of your Game Gear. So basically, it plugs into your AC right there. And you notice on the back it's actually got a belt clip. So basically the idea of this is when you're on the traveling in that, you could have this on your belt, and it is really heavy as well. You could hook that onto your belt, you could take this then, plug it into your game gear. While having that on your belt, you could then keep playing with your game gear and having extra power just in case you ran out of that um, your normal battery. And it was just basically an extendable battery pack. 
But this is really heavy, and I can imagine if you had that in your belt back then, it would be a really heavy thing to have on your belt. It really would. Um, but yeah, it would be really big and bulky. But I mean, for what it does, it's pretty cool. I mean, you just had that extra, and it gave you the extra kind of power. So a very handy thing to have anyway. And now they made another battery pack for the Game Gear as well, which is this one, Power Battery. Now this one works a bit differently because it's not only a battery, it's also a grip. So it's sort of a battery grip, you could say. Let's go ahead and open the box up and pull it out. And you get the little bit of a manual here, so it's a bit of quick guard instruction sort of thing. Nothing really too fancy. Okay, so this is what it looked like. So it's got these little handle kind of grips here. It's got a charge indicator on the bottom here. You've got your, it says yeah, quick normal play. So basically when you're turning it on. Alright, this part here plugs into your AC port, so your top port of your game gear just there. And then this screws onto the back of your actual game gear. So let's go ahead and do that now and show you what it looks like. You just line it up, there's actually these little clips here that line up into those grooves in the back. They just line up like that and the screw will go into that hole. Now the best thing is to have a screwdriver handy to actually screw that in. So once that's screwed in, you then have basically a grip well as you can see you got these little grips so it gave you a bit more grip to hold it it added a fair bit of weight to the game gear and the best thing about this is because it's an extra plug you plug it in there to when you want it but when you don't want it you just leave it unplugged and just use it as a normal grip so you could have it attached but don't actually use it until you want it to so that's the beauty of having that external. It does add a lot of weight to it, so it does it would make it a lot more heavier to carry around with you. But it does add that extra bit of comfort just by giving you a bit more grip to hold on to, and it feels a bit more natural to hold hold on to the grip like that. Anyway, so it's a, it's a good little thing. Um, so it gave you extended battery as well as in a grip, so that's very handy sort of thing. The downside, I guess, is you'd have to have a screwdriver or some kind of thing to unscrew it all the time when you wanted to actually pull it off. So that would be a little bit of a downside. If you didn't have a screwdriver hand, you'd have to find something to unscrew it. But otherwise, it works quite well. Okay, so the last accessory we'll be showing in part one is the big window two. So this is basically a screen magnifier. All right, so we'll just open up the box now. So in the box you get the screen magnifier itself, as well as a screw. You also get like a little bit of an instruction now down there, it's not really huge, it's really, really, really short. Okay, so how this works now, before I actually attach it to it, I'll show you what the game looks normally on the screen. So I'll just put Sonic in here, Sonic the Hedgehog. Now I'll start it up and show you sort of what the screen size looks like. And then I'll put the big window on and show you the difference. So this is normal screen size. As you can see, it's not that big, it's just your standard kind of Game Gear screen size. Now, the idea of the magnification window is that it enhances the gameplay by making the screen, what appears on the screen, bigger by magnifying it. And also what I like about it is because inside here, this is like shiny plastic, the light kind of reflects, coming at the light, very little light coming from the screen reflects onto these things and sort of makes it overall brighter inside here. 
So it's almost like you have a light on. So how you attach is that thing folds out, and then it's basically all the way. It slips on the bottom here like this, and slips onto the screen. On the back here, you just align it with that screw hole there, and you take the screw, and then you screw it in. Now this one you don't have to have a screwdriver, it's got like a, a thumb screw, so you just use your hands to screw it. And then this little metal sort of bracket here slides back and over the Game Gear top to secure it into place and sort of lock it into that position. So now as you can see, it adds quite a bit of heft onto it. So it's quite a, and looks really weird, it almost looks like a camera like this, doesn't it? Can you imagine there's a camera? does look like one, doesn't it? Looks really, really strange. Um, really unusual, actually. But how it works is when we turn it on now, you'll notice the screen is magnified. I'll try to get a... Good. So as you can see from that, is that it actually really magnifies the screen quite well and actually allows you to see the screen a lot more clearer. So if I just turn that back on again, turn the sound down, get the main menu up, you can see it magnifies the screen a lot better. So you can actually see more detail and it makes it a bit easier on the eyes to actually play the games. Personally, I really like this big window. It does make playing it a lot more easier and a lot more clearer to see. And as you can see how the light is reflecting on the inside of those windows, making it a bit more overall brighter inside there as well. So overall, it's a really cool accessory, and I would recommend if you have a Game Gear, definitely have some sort of magnification window. This is the big window too, so this is like the sequel to the original uh, Game Gear window, um, and this one I think is one of the better ones to get. But anyway, that was um, pretty much an awesome accessory. I really like, out of all the accessories, I think I like the big window the best, and it's probably the one I use the most when I use my Game, Go game Gear. Okay, so anyway, this was all the accessories that I have at the moment for my Sega Game Gear. Um, like I said, there will be a part two when I get the remaining accessories that I'm still trying to track down. So definitely subscribe and keep an eye for that video because that video will be down the line when I find the leftover accessories that I don't have just yet. Um, but basically, all these accessories are like pretty easily available for the Game Gear and they are very cheap. So if you are after some accessories for your game gear, then all of these ones you see here, you can pick up off eBay for really cheap, like, you know, between 10 to $20, depending on what you're getting. And overall, that's just a bargain. So if you want extended batteries, there are ones available, including one that's sort of more like a grip as well as a battery. Uh, you've got your TV tuner. Of course, it's analog, so it's not too much relevant in today's with digital TV. And, of course, you've got the best one of all, the big window 2 which works excellently and magnifies the screen the way it should do.
Uh, now, like I mentioned before, there will be a part two video, so I'll put a link down in the description when that is coming. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to do it because, like I said, I'm still trying to track down some of the Game Gear accessories before I do the part two video. But anyway, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to have heaps more controller and accessory reviews up very shortly. I'm Shocker Gamer. Thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to put a comment down below if you want to. And if you know of any other Game Gear accessories there are or any ones that you know of that you've heard of, then feel free to leave a comment down below and tell me what they are. Thanks again for watching, guys.